I am Ray Mandarino. I am the ecologist and collection specialist here at the Oak Spring Garden Foundation. So we are doing insect monitoring here by putting out malaise traps across our landscapes. And by doing this, we are collecting a, a arrangement and composition of the insect diversity here at Oak Spring. We, this gives us a baseline understanding of what's here. And as we continue to manage the landscape and affect change, we can see how those insect communities change over time. If an insect is flying and they hit a wall, their first instinct is to go up. Because in nature, and we haven't surmounted this barrier yet, effectively, if you keep going up, eventually you'll get over something. So that is what insects do, for the most part. Beetles, when they hit a wall, they usually drop. But most flying things, when they hit a wall, they go up. So malaise traps take advantage of this by funneling all insects on all four corners in this design into a, into a neck here that funnels them into the catch here and over time they will simply fall into a catch. So after the bugs are trapped, we sort them out, we drain all the alcohol, um, they are weighed, so we have an understanding of how much biomass we have collected at this one site um, for a trapping period. And then they get sorted out between ones that are extraordinarily small and will take a lot of time to process, and larger ones that we can then mount and put on display for our collections. And then, but we also, and most importantly, we database it all. So we have an understanding of what's here right now and what will be here in the future. My favorite bug is the sweetheart underwing, Catocula amatrix. Its uh, host plant is willow, and it was the bug that got me into insects. That when I first saw it and uh, preserved it for my high school insect collection, I was just blown away by how fantastic it was. It was gorgeous. My least favorite bug um, is probably stable flies. Stable flies are little blood-sucking spawns of Satan that look entirely harmless until they land on you and then they pierce you with their little <laughs> proboscis to draw blood and it's like a little saw in their face. 